Hey, ¿qué tal gente? ¿Cómo están? Espero que estén súper bien. Hey, estoy súper, súper contenta porque al fin van a ver este video. La verdad que no lo podíamos... Eh comentar todavía, justamente estamos aquí en San Francisco en un evento de Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope y bueno les cuento todo lo que hay el día de hoy. Hoy es miércoles 14 y ustedes están viendo esto en el Feria Futuro, sí, en el futuro, <risa> en esta parte de aquí. Nos dijeron una presentación del juego, algunas cositas nuevas que va a tener el juego y demás. Este, bueno, el juego cambió totalmente. Luego de eso, voy a mostrarles aquí rápidamente, miren, también nos dieron almuerzo, muy bonito, muy bonito, <risa> comidita, galletitas, postres. Acá les muestro el badge, dice VIP y en la parte de atrás dice Mario Plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope y dice VIP. Luego de, de que estuvimos aquí en la presentación, nos fuimos a otro área que es del lado de allá, eh, que justamente, bueno, ya vienen conmigo, así que acompáñenme, eh, que es en la parte de aquí, que es en la sesión de gameplays. Entonces, cada una de las personas invitadas tiene una estación donde jugabas el juego como por, creo que sesiones de dos horas por ahí. Tuve una entrevista con el productor del juego, entonces ahí pude conocer un poquito más acerca del juego, algunas dudas también que tenía y algunas cositas que quería conocer. ¿Qué tal si vemos esa entrevista? Bueno amigos, aquí estoy con Kentin Correggi, productor del juego Mario Plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope. Y vamos a hacerle algunas preguntitas. Ya tuve la oportunidad de jugarlo y pues de verdad que estoy muy emocionada de conocer un poquito más acerca del de juego. So, thank you for the interview. Uh, so, it's been nearly five years since Ubisoft and Nintendo uh, released the amazing crossover Mario Plus Rabbit. So, in this new title, we will travel to Terra Flora, a beautiful and colorful uh, place. Uh, tell us about this place and what we can expect to find. So Terra Flora is um, one of our many planets that we have in uh, Sparks of Hope. Uh, so this one is a very uh, colorful planet indeed, uh, with lots of uh, uh, flowers and vegetation. Uh, you will have also the, equation, the occasion to uh, take a very specific epic battle on a train facing a Wiggler. We released some gameplay footage on this on the, the latest Ubisoft Forward. Uh, and basically there is something wrong in the planet. In all our planets, uh, something is wrong because they are all under the influence of Cursa, uh, that is the, the main villain uh, of, the, of uh, Sparks of Hope. Uh, and in Terra Flora, uh, there is drought. Uh, there is not enough water for all the, the, the vegetation, the luxurious vegetation. Uh, so the goal in this specific planet will be to find a way to clean the dark influence of Cursa and bring back the water so that the flowers can shine uh, in this planet. So now we have the sparks, a fusion of between Lumas and rabbits. How many sparks are we going to have in the game and how they will affect the gameplay experience? So the sparks are one of the core elements of the game and of course There is a reason why the game is called Sparks of Hope. Uh, so in total, we have 30 sparks. Uh, they are each completely unique with one um, active power. So they have a very specific ability. Uh, and on top of it, each spark is also coming with a passive ability. So they can offer, for example, specific protection to some specific super effect or elements. Uh, they can also add some power to your weapons. Um, and what was really important for us with the sparks and what they bring in terms of gameplay, uh, each hero is able to equip up to two sparks, uh, which enables the player to really tweak the archetype of their hero. For example, if I take uh, Bowser, that is a very aggressive character, uh, you can either decide to add on top of it, let's say, attack-oriented sparks to make him even more uh, dangerous, uh, or you can decide to compensate a bit and play it a bit more safe with more defensive sparks, uh, or you can do a mix of both. So what was really important for us is that by being able to choose which spark you equip on which hero, uh, you can really tailor the experience of that specific character and also, of course, adapt to the specific enemies that you will encounter in each battle. Now you mentioned Bowser, uh, Rabbit Rosalina and Edge joins the battle. So could you tell us about the roles in the gameplay for them? Yeah, so uh, Bowser is the aggressive type. Uh, so you have a massive, huge 
bazooka-like weapon that deals massive area of effect damage. Um, he's al he also have a movement ability that every time he lands from a team jump, it will cause a huge uh, area of uh, explosion around him. So I would say Bother is here to cause a bit of uh, destruction on the battlefield. Uh, Rabbit Rosalina on the other side, she's much more about control. So she has a, a, a technique that enables them to lock the enemy in place uh, that can be very strong in terms of controlling the, the area. And she has also a very specific, unique weapon that shoots a lot of uh, bullets uh, that you can even increase in the skill tree, which makes it very powerful to destroy covers. So sometimes you have enemies that are uh, hidden behind two or three sets of covers and you can just shoot through it and all the, the bullets will destroy the covers, which can open a line of sight to another character, another hero that is further on the battlefield. Uh, and finally, we have Edge. Uh, this is my personal character in the game. Uh, and her, she's, she's really badass. Uh, she wants to play it very uh, uh, melee style or close contact. Uh, so she's the character that can dash uh, the most in the game. Uh, and you can even specialize the skill tree so that every time you dash an enemy, it increases your eye of movement that opens even more possibility to attack and tackle the, the, the enemies. Uh, and of course, our weapon, the, the massive sword, is also really cool. Uh, it can go and pierce through several rows of enemies. Um, so I would say, yeah, she's the, the hot-headed uh, badass uh, one of the team. Yes, my favorite too. So in this time, there's a significant twist, uh, the absence of a grid system, which I love because you have more freedom to play and add more action to the battle. Tell us about this new system and why you had the decision. Yep. So um, when we released the, the first one, Mario plus Rabbit Kingdom Battle, uh, we wanted to already bring something new to the tactical genre. And it was also important for us to bring also newcomers from this genre, um, yeah, our, our, our specific uh, uh, gameplay. And already um, what we received from feedback from the player uh, in Kingdom Battle was that they really loved uh, how much they can do with their movement because you could like chain the dash and team jump etc. So we knew that this is something that was making the Mario plus Rabbids game special and we really wanted to go even further than that in Sparks of Hope. Um, so we iterated actually quite a lot to find the, the, the proper twist to our combat system and when we came up to, with the real-time control uh, there it it really clicked and we understood that, okay, now we have really something special. Uh, it's still a tactical game. Uh, it still requires you to think and plan ahead, but at the same time, the real time really brings a lot of dynamism, uh, fluidity, uh, and also, of course, just being able to control your favorite characters. It's so cool. Uh, on top of it, it enables us to do some very specific uh, let's say ingredients in the battle. For example, you have the bow bomb, you can dash it, it will trigger its timer. So then in real time, you have to react, pick it up, throw it before it explodes. Uh, we also have specific ingredients like the, the stone masks that are blowing wind on a, in real time. So uh, you need to also anticipate while controlling your character to be sure that you will not be pushed away. Uh, and none of that would have been possible if we kept the, the, the grid. Nice. So, of course, we are hype about Rayman joining the Rabbits. And I think this is will be the first time the two franchises have uh, reunited since Rayman Raven Rabbits in 2008. So, tell us about the DLC. Yeah, well, I won't be able to tell too much. Uh, well, first of all, because on our side, at least, the whole team is still focused on making Sparks of Hope the best possible experience at launch. Uh, but for sure, we are extremely happy to be able to reunite finally, Rayman and the, the rabbits. Um, so this expansion will be, um, uh, 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 let's say, a specific separated experience uh, from the from the main storyline, uh, in which indeed Rayna, Rayman will be reunited with the rabbit. So it will be a specific experience tailored about around Rayman, Rabbit Peach and Rabbit Mario uh, that will go on their own specific uh, adventure. Well, thank you so much for the interview. Bueno chicos, ya saben, ahí también les compartimos un poco del gameplay de lo que vimos acá en la experiencia, de verdad que muchísimas gracias a Ubisoft y estén atentos porque realmente el juego está súper cool, ya también les di mis impresiones de que me parecía el juego, de verdad que eh, me sorprendió muchísimo y lo disfruté un montón, así que nos vemos en la próxima.